Hello and welcome to the Croc Clicker Challenge on Khan Academy. This is part of the HTML JavaScript Making Web Pages Interactive with jQuery course, and I believe we're on the third lesson, DOM events. So we're learning how to finally make web pages interactive with jQuery. And if you have been following this series, then you know that we've already done interactions with the DOM and JavaScript, and now we're doing it with jQuery, which is really exciting. So what are we doing today? It says we're adding a click listener, and then the directions say, this web page displays an image with text below that should show the number of times that you've clicked that image. Use jQuery to make it work. Add an event listener for click events on that image that increments the num clicks variable and updates the text. Cool. and. Luckily, there's some hint text over here, which is really good because uh, there's a lot, I feel like. Okay, so what's happening already? So we have, um, we want to add an event listener to this image so that when we click it, nothing happens right now, but we want it to update this text right here so that it says you clicked however many times you've clicked. All right, so let's see, we have this um, picture right here. I'm just looking at our HTML just to sort of figure out where I am. And then we have this div right here and it has an ID of results. All right, let's go ahead and look at our, our JavaScript. We have our script tag and then we have this num clicks variable which is currently zero. And then we have this uh, jQuery object which stores this res uh, this div that has the ID of results. Okay, so this is saying the text of results is you clicked plus this num clicks variable and then plus times. And that is how we have this right here. Okay, this text. All right, so now what are we doing? Um, we're adding an event listener. Okay, so what I want to I want to put the event listener on the image because when we click on the image, we want this this text to update. Okay, so I'm going to start with the jQuery dollar sign, and then let's see what element we want. This image element, and it has an ID of Crocs, so I'm going to go ID Crocs. Cool, and then I'm going to add this on language, which we learned in the last video adding event listeners with jQuery, we learned that on is the jQuery method of um, events. All right, so we want to tell it what type of event we're looking for. So it's click, and then we want to call a function. All right, cool. So the function that we want, what do we want to... So so here, so we've added this uh, event listener. That's what this line is. And it's saying on click, we're going to do this function. Um, so during this function, we want to update this zero. So I'm going to say num clicks plus equals one. So that each time it's going to increase this zero and add one to it. All right. When I first looked at this, I was like, don't we need to parse float this because this is this is text, but if I look back at the code, it's not text. Um, you clicked and times is text, but num clicks is already a number, which is why we don't have to parse float it, which is cool. And I can just say plus equals one, add one to that number each time we run through this function. All right, so do 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 num clicks plus one, uh, and then we want to update this text. So I'm just gonna um, copy and paste this into the function. Aha! So that it will when when I click, it's going to add one to this zero, and then replace the uh, this line right here results this div with the new results. All right, so Hopper has said, way to go, keep moving on. Let's go on to the next step. Ah, 
Excellent. Okay, so the next step is just to click it and make sure that it works. So let's do that. Aha! Okay, so cool. I can click it a bunch of times and it'll still tell me each time it's increasing my one. And so far I've clicked it 17 times. Woohoo! Uh, all right, so Hopper is letting me know. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to you as well for um, learning how to add an event listener in jQuery. Really cool. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video.